Welcome, Vault Dwellers. My name is Nacho Bidness. I hope everyone had an excellent Fosnacht. I certainly did. I got three of the extremely rare masks. I got a whole bunch of plans. And I made a ton of caps with the camp that I'm about to show you. So something to think about when you are seeing new events come up, especially as this summer and fall roadmaps come in, is maybe think about camping near popular events. Because at the end of every Fosnacht, I would come down here to the bonfire by the church and tell everybody, hey, be sure before you leave to go shop at Nacho General Store. It's right at the end of Pickens Road here. And we've got all kinds of great deals at Nacho General Store. If you need workbenches or a bed or an instrument, we've got those two at Nacho General Store. Crazy good deals. Today we're running a special on screws. That was usually enough to entice three or four players to come down every hour and take a look at my store and that much foot traffic meant that I was able to greatly increase the profits from my store here even though they only enabled vending machines for about the last week of Fosnacht I made something in the neighborhood of 50,000 caps in a week in fact I had to go buy mutation serum recipes just so I wouldn't hit the cap on the maximum amount of level of caps. So definitely something to think about. And what I've created here is a little country general store. I wasn't quite able to get it as close to the road as I would have liked, but there is a nice little path here that takes us past my billboard here that says it's the camp you can trust. Happy Fast Knocked, along with some bunting on it. Let's take a look at the outside of the building here. It's uh, two floors, and I used the contemporary building set from the Atom Shop uh, to make this. I have earned enough Atoms in-game that I was able to afford to buy that building set. Of course, I've got it all decorated up on the outside for Fast Knocked, and use the warehouse set for the garage walls here. Went ahead and put my fusion generator and my armor workbench outside here because it just feels like a nuclear generator and open flames inside the house was a bad idea. Got a little water purifier and also have all my crops outside my character is a vegetarian because of one of the mutations that he picked up and so he grows all of his own food and as far as the front of the store here uh, I've got my scavenger collector on here and we've also just got everything nicely decorated to try and make it look like an old tiny country general store got some vending machines outside got a couple of little kitty rides some more vending machines a couple of instruments here where a couple of guitarists can pick out a song while they're hanging out outside and a radio next to our forager's rocking chair here I dressed the forager up in that stars and stripes shirt to Try and make him look like he is the owner of this little general store. Let's go take a look in the garage real quick. Actually, let's come this way. I have put a switch on the outside. I really was dissatisfied with the amount of budget that I had in this settlement. And I didn't have the budget to run conduit inside and make the switch inside. But we've got all our workstations in here. I did want to have all of the workstations in separate spaces but again budget caught up to me 
and just can't build nearly as much as I would like in these camps. Got a little back door here to the back porch and let's go inside the store itself. One of the reasons why I struggled with budget was because I have every magazine in game and I wanted to put them on display. Just felt good with the theme of the general store that there'd be magazines and books and stuff along with some collectibles here. And those displays don't take much budget to put down, but they do take a lot of budget to fill. In fact, I'm going to, when I tear this place down, do a little bit of an experiment. So we've got ourselves a counter here with some merchandise inside. Looks like a perfectly preserved pie, holotape game, and stealth boy there. When players would come in here, I would stand behind the counter and do my best to get them to trade with me. It's awfully hard to get people to trade with you when they're not wearing a microphone. I do wish people would mic up more often in-game. Nevertheless, we've got our vending machines here and all of those magazine racks that I was talking about, along with, uh, yeah, um, we've got ourselves a kitchen here. This is a shared kitchen that the forger and I use. We've got a nice linoleum floor, a sink, and I have a fridge and stove, and I wanted to have a counter in here, but again, ran out of budget. Forge's room is over here. He lives in here, and I didn't even have enough budget to give him a dresser or a light bulb in his room, but He's got enough. He's got a bed, which is more than he had before he met me. Find a little display case there with some of my rare masks that I got from the event. And upstairs is pretty much empty. I had intended for this to be my player home, but with so little budget available, I was not able to pull it off. I suppose I could have omitted my usual setup here with my decon arch and a master switch for the whole settlement and a switch to lock the decon arch and another switch to turn on and off the siren. But man, there are so few cool things that we can do with electricity in this game. This is really kind of something that I do standard in almost every camp that I do. Unfortunately, this time around, I didn't even have enough budget for uh, conduits to kind of neaten this thing up the way I normally do. Last thing is over here we've got ourselves a uh, little switch that I can use to turn the vending machines off. I did have it off right now just because I did not want other players showing up while I was trying to do my tour. There is one thing to uh, warn you about when it comes to camping at a uh, location that's just outside of an event. Some people go AFK and don't participate in the event, and for some reason that makes some players really, really angry. I don't know why, uh, especially for an event like this, it doesn't make the event any harder to accomplish, but... As I said, it does make people angry, and my camp got nuked. It was just a bit of extremely bad luck where I was spawning in pretty much exactly when the bomb went off. I heard a bang right as my character spawned. The screen went dark, and I had to respawn. And by that point, my camp had already been destroyed. So... That was very unfortunate, very expensive to repair. Something to be aware of if you've got something that is hard to repair, like a decon arch, maybe don't set that out if you're gonna camp right next to an event. At any rate, this is my general store, and although I'm not happy with everything, I'm certainly very pleased with the way that the front porch and the store itself turned out. 
I hope you liked it too. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you did. If you didn't like, please tell me why in the comments so that I can try and do better for you next time. Until next time, my name is Nacho Bidness, and I'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun in it.